So, this is an abnormal start for a video. I am in the deep, dark, experimental snapshot right now. World name will be... Beefy Babies. Cheats on, just in case I need them. I have not played through any of this at all, but I have seen other people play through it. I really want to experience it myself, but I don't want to just go into spectator mode and zoom down and, you know, instantly discover everything. I want to actually experience it. So I'm going to try to do something I'm not very good at and <laughs> speed, speed run my way down there. One, two, three. See, look at this. I am such a professional. I don't know how much of this early game stuff I'm gonna show. I mean, it shouldn't take me too terribly long to get, you know, iron armor and stuff and head down there. So I'm probably gonna skip over most of this stuff and catch you up in a minute, which for me will not have been a minute. Anyways, see you soon. <laughs> All right, so it actually has not been that long at all. Just a handful of minutes. I found this village, slept the night away, and I already have full iron armor um, from stuff that I found in the village. And I want, aha, this guy. Aha, thank you. And that means I can do this and run back over to this uh, sheepy and start gathering some more stuff to prepare for the warden because you need wool. Not gonna lie, it is very eerie to think about the fact that in this world, somewhere far below me right now could be an ancient city and a warden. All right, I think I've gotten everything from here that I need, but I need more food. So I think I might try to find another village yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can find another village because I want one of those big um, lumps of hay bales. Ha ha! A village? Does it have what I want? Please say yes. There's another golem so I can get a little more iron. I don't see any bunch of... Oh yes, there is. Thank goodness. This is some wild generation for a village. That looks so cool. I'm still not over the 1.18 generation. It's just, it's art. I think, I think it's time. Why haven't I made a shield? Is that how you do it? No, like that? Yeah, there we go, okay. You know what? Instead of looking around for a cave, I might just dig straight down. This feels like a good spot in between here and the bottom of the world, which is what, like over a hundred blocks, I am bound to run into a cave at some point, and then I'll just go from there. We're almost to the negative Y, and there we go, negative one. Ooh, iron. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's take a second before we go down there, smelt some of this up. Can we see anything that says deep dark? No, this just looks like normal underground. But hopefully if we get down there, we can poke around a little bit and find something. Biggest challenge right here is honestly going to be if I can survive the regular underground in just iron armor without even worrying about the warden. Whoa, you're kidding. Oh my god, and it's a big vein, too. That's 10. Okay, what do I make? What do I make? I feel like normally I'd make a, a diamond pickaxe, but I don't need that here. I think our best bet might be this. Yes. Okay, nice. And we might just find some more diamonds as we explore down here before we find a city. Okay, yeah, we can just drop down here. I'm not seeing anything. Those bats need help, truly. More diamonds, yes. 
This is such a neat little line of diamonds. And we'll make a diamond axe. Nine, not, what? It's not even any better. Okay, we won't then. <laughs> Okay, I'm still not seeing anything that is deep, dark-ish. So I might just cheese this a little bit for the sake of the video. Locate ancient city. Oh, it's a far way away. Okay, maybe a good thing I did that then. So 13, 128. All right, change of plans. Going up to the surface and then we're coming back down. This is gonna be much easier. Going above ground instead. Okay, we're almost at the coordinates. I'm not gonna lie, as I'm getting close to them, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad that I'm recording this in the daytime. I think it's time to descend. I guess this is a fine place to begin. <gasps> Ooh, you see that? We're in deep dark. Do you see that in F3? Oh. That's terrifying. Okay, let's go back to where we were. 128. Okay, instantly another cave. Oh, it's, it's literally the same one. <gasps> You're kidding. Oh my God, that's it right there. Why am I whispering? Oh my God, I'm afraid now. <laughs> oh no. Okay, the shield is not gonna be any use. Monsters don't spawn here except for the, <gasps> that's the frame. That's the big frame in the middle, isn't it? Am I already there? Oh, wowee. It's, it's slurping some noise right now. From what? What is it hearing over there? That's a screamer right there. Is it just the bat that it's hearing? Better be. I believe if I remember right, you get three warning shots with the warden basically, with the, the shriekers. And it's on the third time where it's gonna start to be summoned every single time. That's the reinforced deep slate up there, isn't it? I kind of want to go see it. This looks so cool. I didn't realize there were little blue bits in there like that too. This is insane. You know what? This isn't too scary right now. This is fine. What are these? Like, this is so cool. I don't know, you can imagine people a really long time ago living here, and I love that. All right, there's no screamers here. I wanna try to see if there's, um, if I can get to any of the loot places in here though. I thought that they were near the portal. Maybe they're on the other side. Well, I'm calling it a portal, but. I don't know that it actually is. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> There's one of them. I don't know what the range on those things is. Like, I don't know how far away I need to be. But there's also no skulk nearby, like the little wiggly wigglies that detect your sound, right? Okay, yeah, so I'm fine. I wonder if there would ever be a way to bring the warden elsewhere, like in survival. You know, like if you could try to snag it and <laughs> take it somewhere else. I wanna see that happen. I'm not seeing any of the loot rooms though. And I thought that they were near the portal thing, but yeah, and none of these skulk things are near a shrieker. So, so far I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared anymore at the moment. Um, like if I had accidentally fallen down here in survival and not known what it was, 
I, I would have dealt with it fine so far. It just keeps going. Is there even any skulk in here to trigger these? Oh, uh-huh. I am no longer fine. Okay. Okay, I see how it is now. Ooh, wait. No. Oh, that was my second warning. Oh my god. I just want to know what's in the chest, please. Can I, like... Do that and protect myself. Nope. I see, I see no warden's wardening. That's good. There's a chest there too. I want it. Instant health. <laughs> like that's gonna help if it hits me though. I'll take it anyways, and I will definitely take the snowballs. I should have gotten some of them, actually. Okay, I think what I would like to do is grab some wool from here. Right now, the loot in here doesn't look super impressive, but I'm assuming that they will add more stuff to make it uh, more tempting, more incentive to come down here. Okay, that didn't hit a, a shrieker, good. I just think it's kind of funny on a semi-related note. Oh, never mind, nothing's funny anymore. Jesus, it's right there, it's right there, oh my god, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Nothing's funny anymore. Can the darkness effect please chill? Where is it? Oh, this is like genuinely a horror game now. That's it right there. Oh my god, okay, so if I place a wool, that does nothing, okay, good. Oh my god, but it is coming. <laughs> this is crazy. I was just gonna say, before this happened, it's kind of funny to think about, like, what if you hadn't played Minecraft in like seven years and then you came back and just tried to do some mining and you went to a new negative 64 place and then the, this monster attacked you? Okay, that sound meant that it went back under the ground. That's good. I like that. Um, how much wool have I got? Okay. So I'm going to try to learn from my mistakes and not go back to that part. This is just massive though. Like... How do I even know if I've explored everything? Oh, this is this is back to this part. Okay. Where haven't I been? I love how they designed this so that you have some wool here to help you. But it's not it's not too much help. Like it's enough that you have the resources near you and if you don't know what you're doing, it's like a little hint at like here, this might help you. Um, I think I want to go in there and see if there's any more loot. I'm going to risk this. Okay, good. Looks like I have not really been over there yet, so let's go that way. Just making so much noise on my way. But you know, we're here to see the Warden, so I kind of want to try to summon it again. This looks so eerie, like the intermittent skulk growths in here.
Okay, here's a shrieker. Wait. No, he's here. Oh my god, what? Uh, maybe get down from there. I don't like you being up there. Um, actually, maybe I'll go this way, too. I want to see how this works, though. Oh my god, this is actually terrifying. With that darkness effect? I want the darkness effect to go away so bad. Why is the heartbeat going faster now? Where is he? I've lost him and that is horrifying. Where are you? Right there. Okay. Okay, I think he's going away. I think I've tricked him. What happens if I start moving normally now? Okay, I think I'm fine over here now. Whew, okay, see, we did it, we got away. I'm gonna see if I can find my way back to the portal. I don't think I've been here before. So this must not be the right place. Ooh, wait, is this the miniature portal? Yeah. So this structure is actually called a port. A portal. <laughs> Which is really strange, because the big giant structure is not called a portal. Okay, that's where I came from, so I must be close. Is that it right there? Or is it over there? I don't know. What are all these candles over here? Ah. You're nothing compared to what I've seen today. <laughs> yeah, more treasure. Okay. I don't see any shriekers. So I think I might just be fine to... Yeah. Power one. That's not very good. Yeah, isn't this the little bit that was inside of the, the video that they did? Whoa, that's a lot of books. And skulk sensors and just regular old skulk. If I put down regular old skulk, will it give me XP? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And there's a skeleton skull. I like that, that's cool. Okay, I've proved to myself that I can escape the warden if I want to. So now I think it's time Let's bring him back. Because, you know. I want to be killed by the warden. What happens if you just start running? Oh, not much actually. you. When does the darkness effect stop? <laughs> also, where is he? Oh. 
<laughs> All right. That's going to be all for me for now. <laughs> oh my god. That was so much fun. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this and other fun content about whatever I happen to decide to do in the moment, then subscribe and stuff. <laughs> this is really fun and I cannot wait until the full wild update is out. It's going to be a blast. All right. I will see you in the next one. Bye.